Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another TTM video for you guys today. As you can see, we got four returns in the mail today. Uh, we got a couple points for Team 90s. We got an MLB Hall of Famer. And the big one, that is correct, took 1,609 days to come back. 1,609 days. So we'll go through these. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section on which one you like the best. Uh, and, uh, I want to say that that 1,609 days might be the longest. I'll have to check, but, uh, I know that it's got to be pretty close. So we will start with the team 90s points first. That way, uh, Chase and Caleb can, um, mark me down for the credit. So the first one we got back is a one-on-one -on -one success. It took 43 days coming out of Columbia, South Carolina, and we were able to get back Mr. Dwayne Harper. You can see he's pictured here with the San Diego Chargers. Uh, I know that he was also a Seattle Seahawk. This, again, is one of those 1996 Pacific cards. You can see it's right there, 1996. He was an 11th round selection from the Seattle Seahawks in 1988. Don't have 11 rounds anymore. They haven't had 11 rounds in a long time. So, Mr. Dwayne Harper, point for Team 90s, Charger for the Charger PC. Our next return is a 1 1 success in 82 days. No postmark, but this did come from Texas. And we were able to get back Mr. Alexander Wright. Again, on the 1996 Pacific, you can see he's pictured here as a receiver for the Rams. I do know he was also a receiver for the Cowboys. Uh, there you go. You see 1996. Uh, second round by Dallas in 1990. Came from Auburn. So Mr. Alexander Wright. Another point for Team 90s. He has a nice signature, too. Very, very clean. So that is it for Team 90's points. Moving on, this is going to be our MLB Hall of Famer. It's a 2 of 2 success. It took a quick 6 days from Santa Ana, California. A quick 6 days, guys. We were able to get back Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. So we got Jim Palmer on the 1970 tops here. It's the ERA leaders. You can see him with the... Dick Bosman and Mike Quaylar as well. So he signed that card for us nicely. And then I also needed the base card signed. So we got the base 1970 tops signed by Mr. Palmer. And he put his Hall of Fame 19 or Hall of Fame 90 inscription there for us. So we got it inscribed and we got the autograph. So that is awesome. Another Hall of Famer in the 1970 top set we got signed. Looks great. Nice six. It's nice signature. Clean signature. The last time I sent to him, I had gotten a thumbprint accidentally. And so I was hoping we wouldn't get that this time. And we didn't. So that was awesome. So thank you, Mr. Palmer. A quick six days, guys. That was amazing. And uh, last but not least, it's our three of three success. Again, in 1,609 days. Um, as you guys know, I always leave the addresses in the description. Uh, the address I use for this one will also be in the description. I don't know if that's still currently his address or not. I don't know if it was forwarded and then held, or I don't know the story behind it. I will include the address I used, uh, but you might want to look it up uh, if you guys are going to send to him just to verify. But a 3 of 3 success, we were able... To get back, quarterback of the San Diego Chargers, Stan Humphreys. Got Mr. Stan Humphreys. Uh, got him on the 4x6 photos. Uh, back when I started, I was really heavy into sending photos. Still love to send photos, especially if it's hard to get guys or uh, maybe the cards are a little too pricey. But uh, I haven't sent photos out in quite a while. But we got Stan Humphreys on this photo of his 1995 Edge Black Label. 
back in the 1994, they had the uh, 75th anniversary, so all the teams were wearing their throwback jerseys. It was also the year the Chargers went to the Super Bowl. And I just loved that. I loved that aspect that the NFL threw in. And now it's just common. They all wear their throwbacks now, and it's not a big deal. But back then, it was a huge deal. Next, we got him on the 1991 Tops. Uh, this is when he was with the Redskins. He was the backup to Mark Rippon in Washington. Uh, and then San Diego traded for him. He became our starting quarterback. And had a heck of a career until uh, injuries, most notably concussions, just caught up to him. But he was a fantastic, fantastic quarterback. And then last but not least, as it fell, that's okay. We got a little action shot. Again, from the, seven, uh, the 1994 s uh, season, you can see the 75th anniversary patch right there in the Powder Blues. My favorite jersey of all time. Uh, wanted to get a little action shot of him as well. And so that's what we got. So a three of three success from Mr. Stan Humphreys. Got two from Mr. Palmer and then one from Mr. Wright and one from Mr. Harper. Uh, fantastic, fantastic day. I love those long shot surprises as far as, uh, you know, you send them out in the mail and uh, you never expect something that's out for 1,600 days to come back. But there's always that opportunity and I just love getting those old ones back. So very, very cool. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys saw something that you really liked. If you did, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Anyways, thanks for all the support. As always, have a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya.